Okay, welcome back to MA1203 Business Mathematics 2 about linear second order difference equations. But now we have on the right hand side a variable t. Yeah, so uh, a difference equations with a variable term. So in general, we have something like this. Yeah, on the right hand side is a function of t. Yeah. And to solve this, we will use the method that we call undetermined coefficient. Yeah. So basically, this is a trial and error method. Yeah. So we can only use it for uh, bt, which is equal to one of these three terms. Yeah. The first term is the uh, if bt is a polynomial. Yeah. And the second one if uh, bt is a power of t and the third term is if the bt is the combination of these two right okay so now if bt is this one then what we should do is we assume yeah that the particular solution is equal to this right the particular solution is equal to this um, yeah, so basically the the uh, the particular solution we assume to be the same order of polynomial, but with different coefficients. Yeah, the coefficients we have to find, right? This is a zero up to a m we have to find. Okay, similar to this one, if we have b to the power of k t, uh, b times k to the power of t, sorry, and then. We also assume that the solution is in this form, yeah, a times k to the power of t, yeah, and then if it is a combination, then of course, uh, what we assume is also a combination. Okay, so that's how we find the particular solution by using the method of undetermined coefficients. Okay, let's see this example. Yeah, of course, to find the solution, we have to find the uh, homogeneous solution first. Yeah, so here we have the homogeneous genus, sorry, equation is yp plus 2 minus 3yt plus 1 minus 2yt equal to 0. Yeah. And then, as usual, you can let the solution is equal to y, uh, equal, uh, y t is equal to r to the power of t, yeah. And then you f you will find the characteristic equation. Which is equal to what? Which is equal to r square minus 3r minus 2 equal to 0 right okay so what are the roots of this this is going to be r minus 3 r minus 1 oh sorry r minus 2 i'm sorry r minus 2 times r minus 1 yeah equal to 0 and then we have r1 is equal to 2 and another root r2 is equal to 1 Okay, so the homogeneous solution is equal to C1 2 to the power of t plus C2 um, times 1 to the power of t. Yeah, 1 to the power of t will be 1, so this is basically just c1 to the power of t plus c2 right okay so what about the particular solution okay so this is not a, a, a variable term yeah this is a constant term so maybe we can use just the um what do you call it the, the steady state value yeah so Maybe this is equal to the steady state value, and this is equal to b over uh, 1 minus 3 plus 2, but this is, uh-oh, 
this is not correct because then we have a divisor of zero remember yeah when the divisor is zero then here we don't have a steady state yeah so here basically does not exist yeah the steady state value does not exist yeah okay so then how to find the particular solution yeah then we will use what we call the undetermined uh, method yeah <coughs> so here we have uh, on the right hand side yeah bt is equal to 10 yeah and then of course this is we can uh, this we can uh, view as a polynomial of degree 0 yeah okay so then we can let we can assume yeah yt to be a0 right okay so but now we have a problem here yeah what is the problem yeah because then if we add yeah if we add uh, the homogeneous solution and the particular solution of course what we will get c1 to the power of t plus c2 plus a0 right so c2 and a0 is this is very similar yeah they are just a constant so of course we cannot use that yeah so if we cannot use that of course we have to multiply with t yeah so we can have different terms in all of the solution yeah so first we have to the power of t we have constant and we cannot have another constant yeah so we have to multiply this with t okay so in this case we can substitute to the original equation yeah the original equation is yt plus 2 minus 3yt plus 1 plus 2yt equal to 10 yeah so okay let's do that let's uh substitute so we have what we have a0 yt plus 2 is times t plus 2 right yeah minus 3t plus 1 3 times a0 okay i missed the a0 here yeah plus 2 uh, yt is 80t and this is equal to 10 of course if you uh, try to solve this you will get the a0 right yeah so let's see here a0 t minus 3 a0 t plus 2 a0 t so uh, the a0 t will disappear yeah so they cancel each other yep yeah so 3 a0 t minus 3 a0 t they cancel each other so what we have here is just 2a0 minus 3a0 right which is what minus a0 yeah equal to 10 and here we have a0 is equal to minus 10 okay so of course yt bar the yt the yt bar here yeah will be a0 which is so here i forgot to put bar here yeah so here yt bar is equal to minus 10t yeah or in general we have the solution the complete solution will be the homogeneous solution c1 2 to the power of t plus c2 and then plus the particular solution which is minus 10 t yeah so that's the first example let's see this one this one you have the same homogeneous uh, equation but different uh, term on the right hand side yeah c1 2 to the power of t plus c2 right 
Okay, so now we have BT is equal to 1 plus T. Yeah, and of course, now we have to assume the particular solution. So what should we assume? So this is a polynomial of degree 1. Yeah, and of course, here we have a, to have a polynomial of degree 1. So we have what? A1 T plus A0, right? Okay, so, but again, yeah, we have to check, yeah, we have to check whether there is a same term with the homogeneous solution, yeah, and you can see that here we have C2, which is a constant, and this is A0, which is another constant, so it cannot be that way, yeah, so we have to multiply everything with T in order to, uh, to avoid the same term in the homogeneous solution and the particular solution so we multiply this with t but if we multiply this t of course we have to multiply this with t also and we get t square right okay let's put it back to the original equation so y t plus 2 so we have a1 t plus 2 square plus a0 t plus 2 minus 3 times yt plus 1 yt plus 1 is a1 t plus 1 square plus a0 t plus 1 square oh without the square i'm sorry Okay. All right. And then now we have 2 plus with 2 times yt. So this is a1 t square plus a0 t. And this is equal to 1 plus t. Yeah. Okay. Then we have to find a1 and a0 from here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we have square square. Yeah, so we just open. So this is t square plus 4t plus 4 plus a0 t plus 2 minus 3a1. Here we have t square plus 2t plus 1 yeah and then minus 3 a0 t plus 1 and then plus 2 a1 square a one t square sorry plus a0 t this is equal to 1 plus t okay so let's see the t square yeah t square here we have a1 minus 3 a1 yeah and then plus 2 a1 right so we see that the coefficient of t square on the left hand side is zero yeah so okay this can be the same yeah because on the right hand we, we don't have the t square okay what about the coefficient for uh, t for t we have here for a1 plus a0 yeah minus what minus 6 yeah minus 6 a1 and then minus 3 a0 yeah so that's 40 Yeah, what about the constant? The constant we have 4a1 plus 2a0 minus 3a1 minus 3a0. And this is supposed to be equal to 1 plus t. 
okay so the coefficient for t on the left hand side is this one we, which we can um, which we can simplify into what into minus 2a0 minus 2a1 and this is supposed to equal on the right hand side is equal to 1 yeah and we can have on the left hand side the constant is going to be minus a0 yeah um what else minus a0 and then here we have 4a1 this is equal to another one yeah the constant is one on the right hand side and of course you can try to solve this maybe by elimination okay let's do elimination I multiply this with 2 with 2 this has become 2 and I can just add and we get minus 4 a0 is equal to 3 which means a0 is equal to minus 3 over 4 and of course here we have um, minus 2 times minus 3 over 4 is just 3 over 2 minus 2 a1 is equal to 1 and of course we have here minus 2 a1 is equal to minus half and a1 is equal to 1 over 4 okay and in this case we have the particular solution with a0 equal to minus 3 over 4 and a1 equal to 1 over 4 and all together we have the solution will be equal to the homogeneous solution and then plus the particular solution minus 3 over 4 t okay so that's about the difference equations with variable term and of course there are some applications yeah the first one is price adjustment model so you have learned this in the first uh, different the first order difference equations you yeah, have very similar and there is another application which is called the multiplier accelerator model both of them you can find the example in your tutorial so just do your tutorial and you will learn about the applications so that's all for the second order difference equations there are three video i hope you have seen all of them so thank you for attention and good day